we're back for day three. I'm Ari, and this is Anna. Hi, everyone. We've been here for the last two days, and this is the end. We only have another hour and a half with Anna left. I know, I'm sad. They had so much fun. Yeah, we had a great time, but we know if any of you have watched the last two days, we know that Anna can make miracles happen in an hour, so I'm sure we're going to do some great stuff today. Yes. Thanks, everyone, for joining. Who do we have? Let's see in the chat. We have Michael, Ahmed, Tim is back, Jason, Afroja, Jeff, Felipe, hello. Hi. Oh, apparently, oh, our names together spell Ariana. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's cool. That can be our joint name. Hi, Mario. Hi, Mario. Hi, Chetan. Great to see everyone. Tell us where you're from. Tell us if you've been watching the last two days because we've done so much. If you haven't seen them, you can watch them on the replays, but it's great to see who's been there for us the past two days too. I see a lot of familiar names. Tamiris, yes. Yanina, Megan, Fahad, Chetan's from India. How many people do we have from India? I think we've had a few over the last couple of days. Tamiris from Brazil, mm -hmm. Germany, all over the world. So we've done modular lettering, we've done dimensional, dimensional and, and then today, what are we doing? Today, we are gonna go super dimensional. It's Whoa. gonna be dimensional with also transparencies. Okay. And it's so much fun. So to see an example, I have something on my screen here that you posted on Instagram. Yeah. So this is the vibe we're going for today. Zoom in. Yeah, That's these so are cool. like si different oh, examples. Some of them are more um, like they have different weights. Some of them have um, just one weight, but they are all treated the same way. Mm -hmm. I'll show how to do, you know, something bolder and something um, lighter. Cool. And hopefully we can make it happen in 90 minutes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And this is the oil one that some people were commenting on. Yeah. I can't seem to move it, but. So well, you said we're doing something like this to start yes. with? Yes. So okay. we are going to do like that, like the sun part of that summer sun. But I'm going to show you how to make it because this is, it, everything has the same weight. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show how to do this also with, you know, alternating weights on okay. the letters. Because if you want to do bubbles, bubbles have like a behavior that's a little bit more organic. Yeah. Um, this would be like a plastic straw. You mm -hmm. can get similar, like anything that's transparent, you can do with this style. Yeah. And then just changing the weight, it goes from like rigid plastic to like bubbly bubble or like cool. thick oil. That's awesome. Yes. Okay. Well, I hope you like, oh, the heart's down there. I was going <laughs> to say, I hope you like it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so let's okay. go to your screen and start yeah. with what you're doing. Oh, I forgot though. I have to show oh. um, who won yesterday's challenge. This is really awesome. It's from Judith and I wanted to call her out. Great job, Judith. Yeah, this is cool. So apparently she used um, her challenge from before, the first day, to create a brush and then used that brush to make this word create. So super creative. There's Judith. Congrats, Yay. she's in the chat. Um, I love seeing that and love that we can give you creative cloud. So we'll see, you have no bounds to what you can create now. Yes, sky is the limit. Yeah, <laughs> and today we're gonna do portfolio reviews later. So stay tuned okay. for that. Let's go to your screen. Okay, so um, I came with a path ready already because I want to have time to show everything. Um, this is a normal path done with the pen tool, so you can see the anchors and everything. Mm -hmm. And what we want to do is we want to give um, thickness to this, but also transparency. And to okay. do that, uh, right now my line is a line that um, ends in a sharp edge. I want this to be around, like this. So you guys select these two options, 
And then okay. I want it to be a dashed line with a zero here. And then I'm going to start with a 10 gap. OK, yeah. so you use the pen tool. You lettered out your word, sun. And yes. then you're going into the stroke options and um, changing a few things there. Yeah, just so it looks like this. It's oh, all dots. OK. OK, so now what we're oh, going to do. I think I know what's going to happen. Yes. It's going to be awesome. Um, I'm going to set the weight to 50 just to have. It's a little bit thicker, but we want it thicker. So maybe mm -mm, 200. No? OK. So okay. this is more like a straw, but right now um, it's still you know, just a line made of dots. Mm -hmm. For us to make it transparent, we have to go with this tool, like the, um, the, the width, width tool. tool. Yeah. And we go anywhere, and we go like this. So you see how it's creating oh. these circles? Yeah. Now with this, what I did is I made this whole structure made with circles that I can expand. So I'm going to come, what am I here? Duplicate, as usual. And then when you have these, you go to Object, Expand Appearance, and then you change the fill for the line. So now what we have, it's a little bit of a, we a have rainbow here. circle. <laughs> so you see how now this is um, made with many, many circles. You see? Yeah. Um, that looks cool by itself. It's yes. like a slinky. Yes. Slinky lettering. <laughs> um, so let me stop. Now you see how this is just one, one width. If we wanted to do something that had a variation, I'm going to do it just here in one line. We would do the same. We would have this at um, 200. And then again, it has to be round, diced, 0, 10. You can change this. I'm going to later like tell you what this thing affects, like how that affects mm -hmm. the lettering. But um, if now I want like different bubbles, you can go like this. Whoa. Small one. OK. This is like this and this like that. If I expand this, expand appearance, and then you see how I have. And it does this very cool thing where like it goes in and it gives yeah. dimension. So if you do that to your lettering, um, it's going to have a more bubbly look. Cool. Let's so. say hi to some people that just joined. Tiffany, great that you can join. She says, I'm finally at the right time for lives. Yay. Maybe she moved. Munir just joined. Good to see you. Joanna from the Dominican Republic. I love Illustrator. Don't we all? I know. <laughs> Khaled is back. Nato is here. Heidi. Simon, Catherine from Wisconsin, Lindsay, Scott. Thanks for joining everyone. And let us know if you have questions for Anna, because if you have questions about yeah. Illustrator or her process, this is a great place to ask. And I'll be keeping an eye on you guys. Yes. Is there anything better than Adobe Live with your breakfast? <laughs> Asked Joseph. No, <laughs> that's the best. Hi, Alan and Ashley. OK, so. So now um, I think I'm going to make this thicker because okay. I want to, um, you can always go back. So instead of 200, I work very big because then I can work on the details. 400, mm. <laughs> 350. OK, I like that here on the U we are going to have some overlap and it's going to look nice. Cool. OK. So we make sure to do this. OK, it's done. Object, expand. And then, OK. So right now we have a spacing of 10. And we get this density. But if I come here and I give this a gap of 3 only, and then I expand this, I don't know what that guy. That dot, I don't know what happened, but um, this is just for you to see how the density changes. Mm -hmm. So if we want to do something that it's like water, 
we will have a larger gap because then we'll have less circles. If you want to have something that it's more like oil, we will have a higher density. So you see how this one is very thick? Yeah. And that one is thinner. There's a lot of circles going yes. on. Yes. <laughs> so we'll work with this one. We like it better. OK, so now when you're here, you can also change the thickness of the line, which is also going to help us. Let me go like this. So we are selected, but not uh, highlighted. Um, right now, to give it more dimension, what we're going to do is we're going to give color to those lines. And to do that, we are going to use a gradient. Um, All right, time yeah. for the gradient. I know. I have them selected. If I go like this and just use this one. Okay. I get light here and then dark there, but since I want it to be plastic and I want it to have more reflections, I'm gonna work with another type of gradient. So, so for those of you that are just joining, we're trying to make this look like a straw, like a plastic straw. Yeah. And it's reminiscent of work that Anna has already done. It's on her Instagram. Um, we can flash to my screen real quick to show what we're doing for those of you that are just joining. So this is the vibe we're going for right now. So we're just doing the word sun and we're showing you the whole process from the pen tool to adding the dimension and the straw look. Okay. So that one had a rainbow theme, mm -hmm. but this one is going to have just one color, just to, um, you know, be able to, to do this. Yeah. Book. Okay. So I have to do the gradient again. Um, what we want for this, to give it dimension, is to have light at the beginning, and then you can have colors, you put light again, then maybe we'll give it a little bit of magenta, and a little bit of blue, so we have a gradation, and then a little bit more light here. And then we change, I, we save this here. Oh, that's so easy to drag the colors in there. I didn't know you mm. could do that. But I don't know a lot. So you and see how now it it's becoming like more and more plasticky. That's so cool. We still have our circles here. And it's giving us these things that um, <clears throat> it looks like a mistake, but then when you have it, it's um, it gives that like bubbly kind of yeah. behavior, and I like it very much. Wow. Okay, so now that we have this, um, okay, I really like what is happening here. You see how we have like this thing goes mm -hmm. like this, that goes like that. Let me make it smaller because um, we are having a lot of thinking time just because we are very large. Let's see. Everyone is saying, this is amazing, wow. Hi, Tom, good to have you back. Um, okay, so now that we have this, we are gonna go to Photoshop and we're gonna make it look better. Okay. Okay, everyone, we're going to Photoshop, so yeah. come along. We copy this, we open Photoshop. Hi, Eric. We have the other Anna here. Anna Nat has been here every day. Yeah. yeah, a lot of people have been here every day. Nato says, Anna is the best at teaching. I'm learning so much. Yeah, thank you. And uh, we have the portfolio review today. So yes. check that um, portfolio review tab above the chat and please submit. We would love to see your portfolio and Anna can give you some tips. Yes. That's gonna be happening later on. Okay, so as usual, we paste this as a um, smart object. And in this case, this is very important because right now what we have here is if I show you like, this is just lines. So every two pixels, you have a hole and this is very annoying, um, but mm -hmm. you know, you need it for the transparency. So what you do is we save this as original and then we duplicate this one and I'm gonna call this black. And what I do, so black is going to be another smart object. I'm going to go inside and inside and then in Illustrator I'm going to keep the thinness of the line but I'm going to give it a fill. Okay. So 
so we select this guy. I want this to be black and I want the field to be black too. And what we are gonna achieve with that is we are gonna have a piece that we can use as a mask mm -hmm. because now we will need to be very detailed and that's gonna make our life so much easier. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Yes. Jason says the storm knocked out power and internet at work and missed most of yesterday. Oh no, it looks like you're back though. Will says it's my first live. Wow. Great to have you. I hope you enjoy it and visit us again. You can stay tuned all day today. We have so much going on. Okay, let me save these. Okay. Sun. Hi, Shivam. Hi, Patricia. Okay, so now we have these. Ooh, this this layer. looks kind of like the oil. Yes, if you have like a black underneath, it gives you a different, um, like a different feel. Yeah. And also, so right now we have a white background, but if I, you see, just changing the that background, looks so good. Yeah, it gives you um, a very cool feel. So now let's make it better. Can um, I we'll, ask you a question? Yeah. Did you um, discover this just through trial and error? How did I you think, come up with this? I think I was doing just normal lettering and changing the width of a letter, but I accidentally had the line as dots. Oh. And then I went there, it's like, oh my God, these are like so Wow, that's so <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah, make mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm gonna select this and mask the original. So I save this for later. And I duplicate it and this, like the duplicated one, you have to rasterize it because you cannot work with a smart object. Okay, so when we're here, we are gonna go close. Mm -hmm. And with the smudge tool, what is my smudge? No, I don't have it. Is it hiding under something yeah. else? It's weird because I always have it. Let me see. Essentials, maybe. Uh -huh. uh. Yeah, I had it set it up for another project. Okay, oh. this is very large. Um, for this, we need to have a, a brush. Even though we want, you see, we're gonna do this uh -huh. and we are gonna make um, like a blur. Okay. We need a, a brush that it's hard 100% because if you have it in soft, it creates a feather thing that doesn't look good. Let okay. me go back to um, layers. you cannot see it now. But trust me. Yeah. Like hard. <laughs> <laughs> and then we are gonna be working with strengths of 10, 20, 30 sometimes, but mm -hmm. always like very delicate. Okay. I also need my paths. So for this, I'm gonna put them here. So we're in Photoshop now and since these are all lines, we're gonna use the smudge tool to make it a more smooth yeah. surface so it looks more like plastic. Hi, Owen, first live. Great to have you. Hi, Marissa. Be very patient when you do this because if you go like big, like this. Yeah. You see how it's... It loses some of the texture. And also go with the, well now, this one wasn't that bad, of course, but um, go always with the direction of your lettering. Mm -hmm. And when you're in areas like this, if you do this, you're gonna lose yeah. all the detail. And so. you have to stay within the lines because if you don't, then they just blur the outline too. Well, no, that's why we masked it. Oh. That's why we did like this black thing here. That's why we okay. have a mask here. I'm unselected because I feel like when you have them linked, and you like blur it, you blur everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we keep doing this. All right, so we're using the smudge tool right now. Yes. Hi, Don Marie. Hi, D. Hey, Ingenious Pixel. Eric says, your work is very inspiring. Thank you. Ashi said, 
Why are you not using the blur effect? Because, um, so let me show you. When you have this, you want this to be blurred, mm -hmm. but you want these um, edges to be very crisp. Right. And when you have this type of gradients, the color here is very saturated and it's very filled. Yeah. Here we have like more ink, less ink. So if you come here and you blur it, it's gonna, blurs create like a feather effect. Mm -hmm. Let me show you. So even though we are gonna end up with something like this, yeah. Um, right now I'm losing the definition. Like, yes. And yeah. although I have the mask, I don't have the hundred percent like ink saturation and this is also very ugly. Yeah, it's terrible. I can't even look at it. No, but I mean when you do it with the with the smudge tool, what you keep the crispness of this. Yeah. Right? That makes total sense. So you, it's like blur, blur, but this line needs to be hard pixels. Yes. Yeah, I wish, you know, maybe in Photoshop 2020, we have um, another blur yeah. that defines edges. But this much tool is, um, it's a meditation tool. <laughs> <laughs> you know you're gonna spend some time with it, so yeah. listen to a podcast, to some music. Hi, Abdul Karim. Welcome. Felipe says, I learned to love the smudge tool. Yeah. You know, the tool that you thought it wasn't that um, useful, now it's going to be your best friend. <laughs> Hi, Miguel. Let us know if you have any questions for Anna. We'd be happy to answer. Have any of you, oh, we have the chat and win as well. So here's the deal with the chat and win. It's a great opportunity because this time we're giving away custom stickers from Sticker Mule. So when you win, you can get a credit for a hundred custom stickers and you can make a sticker with whatever you want, your logo or anything. And Sticker Mule is the fastest and easiest way to buy custom stickers. They also have other products too. So this is just an example. I would love to see <clears throat> you guys in the chat create stickers with your own custom design. That would be so awesome to see what you make. And that chat and win countdown you can see at the bottom of the screen, that's when we will pick the winner. So all you have to do is stay tuned, keep active in the chat, and I will give you the cue of when we're going to pick. So it's very simple, it's really awesome. Yes, Yanina's excited. Marcelo says, Sticker Mule is awesome. Yeah, it is. I didn't really know about it until this week. And I was always wondering how people make stickers. I was like, all these people have stickers. Where do they go? It was right there the whole time. Okay, right now um, I am making some paths here to mask mm -hmm. some areas because you want to be very um, precise with the edges. And then when you mask it, it's easier. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Hi, Vince. Okay. So this guy goes this way. What would I make stickers of? Well, I have so many choices. I might make stickers of my new typeface that I designed, or just of my face that people can, would you, like if I gave you one of my face, would you put it on your laptop? Yes. Okay. Maybe in my car Perfect. Also. Your car, yeah. I would put one of you on mine too. Thank you. <laughs> The Ariana. Oh, we can make an Ariana yeah. sticker of both of us. Hi, Abdullah. Hi, Francisco. Hi, Marius. What type of tablet is Anna drawing on? I'm using a Cintiq. Yes, and it's a small one. It's like 15 inch. I think, I think it's 13 or 14. 13. 
It's nice and small so she can carry it around with her, which is very practical. Yeah. The big ones are heavy, not just bulky. But then it's so nice when you have a screen that is like this, oh, and you can make <laughs> bubbles. Yeah. Do you have a different setup at home, or do you just I bring have, this? I have a, um, a larger computer, but I have the same Cintiq. Hmm. My desk is not large enough for <laughs> like a big computer and a big Cintiq. <laughs> yeah. I need a bigger house. Vince says, I've only been watching these the last few days, but every Adobe Live I've seen has been awesome and inspiring. Thanks for watching. That's great to hear. Okay. Eric says, this seems like great therapy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is. It's like those adult coloring books, like the coloring book that is supposed to make you calm. It's the same kind of thing. Hi, Carolina. Okay, two minutes left for the chat and win. So stay in the chat and we'll let you know when it starts. We need to hire someone to smudge for us. Yeah. Although I but like it. But they have it. to be very precise. Yes. It's good for like one word, but then if you had to do a whole. Well, this part is, as I feel like the way I work, I like this dimensional type and there's always um, a moment of excitement and a moment of, you know. Meditation. Yes. <laughs> like, let's say that. <laughs> it's just like life. <laughs> yeah. You have to go through the rough part, like, you know, the difficult parts or like the boring parts. <laughs> because then after we have these all like smudged, then we go and we adjust. You see right now, this is not very like transparent now that I have the S. But if I add some curves here, um, and then they go away, what are they? Okay. Oh. So you see how all these whites are becoming like very, very white? Maybe in, in that screen it doesn't look as good. Yeah, it's kind of like shining. Yes. Ooh, yes. Yeah. It gives like. Um, are very nice. And then we can, since we have these masks, we can come here, mask this layer, and add some color. So let's see. One of these blues. I oh, know, I'm super large. Oh. Oops. Oh, why is it red? Jenny called it smudgitation. Yes. That's a good one. Oh, I see. So you have a little just extra shine. And then maybe we'll screen this or we'll... Okay, we're gonna take a tiny break and we're going to a little video for the chat and win. We'll be right back. Keep chatting. Okay, you guys keep chatting. Tell us how much you want stickers. And we're gonna pick one winner from the chat at random to win 100 sticker meal credits. Well, credits for 100 stickers. <laughs> <laughs> there they are, they're chatting. Yeah, I like how the chat goes like boom when yeah, you guys- Yeah, it explodes um, just <laughs> like these fireworks behind. Yes, stickers. Lindsay, Eric, Don Marie. Wow, Don Marie is really going for it. I keep seeing <laughs> that name come up. Michelle, Mike, Jenny, Jamie. Let's see who's going to be the winner. Can't wait to see. 
Type, type, type. Sticker, sticker, stickers. <laughs> I would love to see Anna's art on a sticker. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Oh, Joseph Medina. Yay, you congratulations. Won. Congrats. That's awesome. Okay. Okay. Back so we're going to go back. Back to work. Yes. <laughs> Congrats, Joseph. Let me do this path real quick. This is the part that I like the least, having to do this. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm glad I can do it, because if we didn't have this tool to mask, it would be harder to be precise. Mm -hmm. But still. Joseph, what kind of stickers are you going to create? I'd love to hear. Or have you ever made stickers before? So you're masking. I'm um, using the pen tool. Yeah, I'm using the the paths to um, mask all the layers, all the parts of the lettering that are um, overlapping. Overlapping, because as I said before, I need these these lines here to be very sharp. Yeah. Vince is asking, how long did it take you to become this good? <laughs> That's so sweet. Um, <laughs> I've been working professionally for 17 years. So, you know. It's a that. while. It takes a lot of practice. Yes. But it's so much fun. Did you study typography? Um, I had typography class in design school. So mm. she studied graphic design. Yeah. Daniel said, did you start at four years old? No. <laughs> no, but I'm, I'm older than I look. <laughs> Everyone is not going to be talking about that, OK? Yeah. <laughs> Everyone is making jokes. She started when she was four. She started when she was 12. That's funny. No. She was like five, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Do you prefer the Cintiq over the iPad? Mm hmm yeah. To me, I don't know, it may be because um, this is what I'm used to, but mm -hmm. I feel like the feel of the Cintiq is closer to reality. Yeah. The other Anna said she started when she was six months. Yay. <laughs> have you ever done murals? No. It would no. be cool to have this on a mural. Yeah. Yeah, it would. I don't know. I've never worked on like such large scale. Mm -hmm. It changes everything. It's like cooking for one or cooking for 20. Yeah. I'm sure that it's like mm, proportions. <laughs> mm. I, what happened here? Ay, ay, ay. Sorry, my Spanish onomatopoeias. I love it. So um, Tim mentioned in the chat, but we also have a special URL for you guys who are viewing us on Sticker Mule. So all you have to do is go to stickermule.com slash Adobe Live, and you can get 10 free stickers, which is really awesome. Munir says, age is just a number. People have a young heart or an old heart. Yeah. That's true. OK, so 24 minutes to submit your portfolio for us to review. Can't wait to see. Who's thinking of submitting their portfolio? Maybe even for the next streamers. Let us know. OK, 
Okay, so we're in the detailed yes. zone right now. But it's all gonna be worth it. Eric says, it's very interesting to see how you work different styles and different results. Yeah. Yeah, we've done so much over the past two days. So at the end, we need to do a recap of all the stuff we created with Anna. I say we, I didn't do anything. Yeah, but you helped me, yes. Yeah, I was supportive. And also in like these days, I was thinking today that I had to mention when you guys work with this, um, with this dimensional type, it's very easy to get like a res like visual result fast. Yeah. But then to make it perfect, you have to spend a lot of time. Mm -hmm. So don't don't feel discouraged if like you do something and it's not as good as you want it because anything that is on my portfolio, maybe I spend 20 hours on it. So in yeah. 90 minutes, you can do a little bit, but it's never so. Yeah. Just dedicate time. And even the things that you created on the stream, you would definitely spend more time on them if you were releasing them for yeah, that's why, because a client or something. Sometimes when you're working, you think like, oh, this is not looking good. And sometimes what it needs is just a little bit more love. Mm -hmm. So give it love. Yeah, and time away, have a yeah. nap, go to bed, go get up the, the next morning. Works with pages. Okay. So now I'm gonna do the insights first. Let me see. Okay. Yanina asked, how did you get your first job as as freelance lettering? Oh, I don't remember. Um, you were a graphic designer and maybe, I mean, there's always something with yeah. typography when you're a graphic designer? Well, right? I started my last year of school, I was hired by one of my teacher's friends who had a studio. Mm -hmm. So I started working with him, and then I worked there in Barcelona until I moved to New York. And I was doing a lot of graphic design, so I don't know when my first lettering thing was. Yeah. It's been so long. <laughs> <laughs> Patricia says, love books with pages. Yes. <laughs> Patricia remembers. Yes. Two days ago, we were talking about reading books with pages. Very important. Mm -hmm. Yes, D, it's review day. Are you gonna submit your portfolio? Have you submitted before? This is a mix between um, strength and size of the brush because if it's too small, mm -hmm. it doesn't give you a consistent blur. Yeah. If it's too big, you lose sharpness. It's like martial arts. <laughs> <laughs> Miguel submitted, D submitted, Munir submitted, Patricia. That's great. We can only pick two for each stream, so it's tough sometimes, but it's great to see that you guys have put yourselves out there. It's hard even to think of the thought of having your portfolio reviewed by, it's not just us, it's everyone on the stream that's looking at it. So it's not an easy thing to do. And just that first step of being open to having people look at it is great. Hector from Mexico, hello. Welcome. Okay, so now I can go to the other side. Now these are um, like bigger, I can go like this. Oh, that's easier. When you are on an edge like this, so now I have this selected and then inverted, so this is, so I cannot do anything here, but I can do it here. When yeah. you are on these edges, go like this, because if you go like that, it does make okay. a mistake. So you go in, in, in. The direction is key. Yeah. Okay. It looks so realistic. Fantastic. I know, and this is 2D, 3D. <laughs> 2D, 
2D, 3D. Yes. It's nice when you have, it, like in these triangles, to go a little bit over, so it gives you a little bit of blur yeah, shine. Yeah. Yeah. Sparkles. Okay, it's very mesmerizing. Yes. I'm kind of in a trance right now. I hope you guys try this and post it on Instagram and then let me know. I'd yeah. like to see it. Tag Anna on Instagram. She can give you feedback. Alex Ray, hello. I missed the process behind this piece. Well, luckily we have the replays. Yes. And just as a recap, Anna started an illustrator and drew this with the pen tool, just the, the lines of the lettering. And then she worked on the stroke. She went into the stroke panel and she made the stroke into circles. And then, okay, now I'm forgetting what happened. <laughs> you're good, you're good. <laughs> then you go with it with. Then she used the width tool. Yeah. And just made the circles show up. I don't know how to explain that. You go like yeah. this, and they, they show up. <laughs> <laughs> and then she blended everything. No, we didn't no. use blends today. What did you do? I, ex I expanded oh. it, and then I changed the um, path, no, the fill by path. So I had circle, circle, circles. Okay, expand and then change the fill <laughs> by path. And then it was all these circles. Yes. And then it was amazing, but she didn't stop there. So there was a lot more process. And you can catch it in the replay because there's so much to learn. There was a gradient thrown in. It's, uh, it's um, easy because it doesn't require I don't know, like difficult things, but it has several steps and you have to like go one by one because if you don't do the weird thing, then when you expand, you get a line instead of circles. Mm -hmm. And that's gonna happen. It has happened to me. It's like, oh, what happened? I know how to do this. Why isn't that working? And it's because I'm making mistakes. Yeah. But the mistakes got you here in the first place. Yeah. So they're useful in their own way. Yes. Hi, Gabrielle from Detroit. She says, that's amazing. Yay, thank you. Welcome. Okay, I feel like this is a race. <laughs> <laughs> race against the clock. Indianapolis. Um, someone asked earlier in the chat, moving to Barcelona, oh. do you have any tips for working there in well, design? I haven't been in Barcelona for 10 years, so I don't know how the business is right now, but send your portfolio to studios and show what you can do. It's like the same as mm -hmm. everywhere. Put your work on Behance. Oh, yeah. yeah. Works for the whole world. Yes. Antonio says, hi girl, you're amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph is asking, what food do you miss most from Barcelona? Uh, well, I don't miss it because I make it. Oh. I miss my father's paellas because I'm like a little bit bad, not to say <laughs> very bad. At, <laughs> I'm making you're paellas. You're bad at making paella? Yeah. I I'm feel good like at it eating. needs a lot of time, right? Yeah, it's like, like this. Patience. Yeah, and yeah. I'm not. <laughs> I like eating, but I don't like cooking. <sighs> okay. These things like these are my favorite. These corners. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I love that sparkle. Yeah. 
Everyone is interested in pa paella. Yeah. So you pronounce the L. Paella. paella. I, so um, in Catalan, we have an extra letter, which is elle. It's made by two Ls. Oh. And the sound is l, <laughs> which is paella. Not, it's not the most beautiful sound. The right? sound is l. <laughs> <laughs> so you say paella instead of paella. Or, I don't know. Paella. Paella. A, yeah, that's a good elle. Paella. The rice is very specific for paella. That's true. Yeah. Once I ordered paella rice on Amazon because I wanted to get the right rice, mm -hmm. and I researched online. And I bought my dad. My dad makes it too. Oh, he's Greek, but that's that's a good uh, paella. I bought him the special pan, and I bought him the rice and saffron for Christmas, and he made a really good one. Well, if you want a paella, that's a good gift. Not like here, that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, this is what I want for dinner. So I here's know. your gift. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Okay, after like the hardship of the lettering, now we are on this swash and yay, it's very easy. William says, finally I can join the live. Such a different time zone here in Indonesia. What time is it for you, William? It sounds like it's late. Joseph says, there's a market in Los Angeles called La Española with many imported products from Spain. Have you been there? No, I've never been. Hmm. Maybe that's on your list. Yeah. <laughs> Anna said, oh, Anna's from Portugal. Hi, Anna. Anna. She says, we have that sound in Portuguese, but we use LH to represent that oh, sound. Yeah. Well, yeah. we're neighbors, so we have similar, similar sounds in our languages. Yeah. OK. So we have these, and then we can choose so it, when we have it on a black background, it gives us this bubbly. You see, now that I um, turn this off, mm -hmm. like this, it doesn't look nice if you want it to be bubbles. For bubbles, like the black needs to be more black. And then if you want plastic, it works better on white. So now it's not as much bubble, it's like more plastic. Yeah. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on adding these like lights and effects that make it, you see it's very delicate, but um, it gives a little bit more contrast. Mm -hmm. William says it's 11.48 p.m. on the 30th of August. I don't know what day it is there. <laughs> <laughs> now I don't know what day it is, you confused me. It's the 30th here too. Oh yeah, it's the mm. same day, you're just way ahead. Yeah, we just started, it's so early here. <laughs> Okay, let me choose. Um. Have you lettered words in Spanish? Um, yeah. Yes. The time in San Francisco is 9.49 a.m. Ashi says, oh, I'm hungry now. I want paella. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're adding highlights. Yes. This is so great. You know they're ban they've banned plastic straws now. So this I is know. the only straw we can use. The fake this is one. Uh, digital plastic. So this one is <laughs> not bad for the environment. So we've found the perfect environment friendly plastic. straw. Okay, I'm going to save this here. Um I'm going to duplicate it like this because I want to have more plastic feel. I don't like this. Maybe just two. Mm -hmm. And then do this again. So you know that at the beginning we used um, a 10 as a space for the circles. Mm -hmm. When you're at this point, if you see that it's not you don't have enough color, you can duplicate the layer as many times as you want and then it gives you more oh, okay. more color just to give it. So when you contrast. duplicate, it doesn't just go right on top of what you had? It does, but you see, hold on. So this is one, this is two. It makes the feel. It just makes it shine a little more. It's as if, as if you had more ink in yeah. that. Cool. Okay, so now I'm gonna do this. No, like very, it's gonna look awful for a minute, but. Um, <laughs> okay. Oh, 
Okay. And now I hide this. So I like just crank the curves and I hit it in a in a mask. And now I'm gonna go on this mask and just um, highlight some parts. Cool. Thanks for coming, Owen. See you next time. Maybe 20% only. Papisito Versace. Good morning. So this word we're using is sun. And if you follow Anna on Instagram, you can see her other piece that says summer sun, which this is kind of modeled after. It's supposed to be like plastic straws mm -hmm. with bubbles inside. It's very summery. So you see now that we are um, unmasking those little spaces, Ooh. they are getting like as if it had um, light on them. Yeah. So this part I like. I never get bored <laughs> of this. Ah, the making like the lights. <laughs> so satisfying. Yes. Um, well, today, since it's almost gone, ah, well done. <laughs> so you would go, you see how this is a little bit weird? You would go here and you would, um, with one pixel, so hard brush, one pixel only. Okay. Maybe 20%, you go and just make it like a little bit smoother, but do it uh. with one pixel because if you do it with more, um, it gets blurry and what you want is like this line to be smooth but not blurry. Yeah. So then you would go and like retouch that. But I see. By now we are doing this. I'm not crazy about this. I don't use it. I'm gonna add some more blue on this one. Also name la your layers because <clears throat> these files end up having a thousand layers, but not a thousand, but maybe a hundred, and then it's hard to find. So, blue. Highlight this original course, course, okay. Hi, Matthias. Matthias says, I wish my spray cans did that transparent color. That would be cool. William is asking Anna, where does all your inspiration come from? Um. I don't know. I see things that I like and I just, I don't know, work a lot. I enjoy working, like making letters with things that are not usually used to make letters. Mm. So like straws and like the oil. I like that illustration typography combination. Yeah. How do you avoid getting bored from finishing a project? <laughs> well, you know, willpower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and she was saying the other day that she likes to read books with pages, yes. you know, before bed, and while she's reading, she gets ideas, and she has a little notebook, and she writes them down just at her bedside table, Yes, and that's how she keeps things fresh. Yeah, I usually work, I mean, some days you have to work late, but I try to stop working before dinner, and then after dinner, there's no computer anymore. There's like people or books mm -hmm. or things that don't emit like screen stuff on your eyes. That's good. <laughs> because I think that your brain cannot function as well. Also when you're just like, I need to have an idea and you're looking <laughs> at the screen, mm -mm. no idea. Okay. Ignacio says, I'm a fellow Spaniard working as a designer in the US. 30 years working in Milwaukee by way of Alicante. Hi, Ignacio. Catral. Um, we are gonna add another layer here with um, a brush made with dots because okay. that's gonna add a little bit of, like, as if it was water inside. Ooh. Okay. Um, what's my brush settings? Okay, to do that. We want this small, we want this hard. 
tem 150. Foi. Hi, Jackie, in Paris. These are very little. Yeah. Can't really see those. Okay. Oh, okay, I'm 20%. So I need to be like this. And maybe lighter. Ooh. This looks really cool. So you're using... I just like made the settings for a brush that has um, 250 spacing, seven points of size. Okay. And then it so has- So they're really spaced out circles. Yes. It has a size difference and it's also scattering both axes like this. It's just one, you want it like that. Wow. Okay. And I usually keep the count to one because otherwise it's too busy. And you yeah. want like some... You just want bubbles. a little accent of bubbles. Yeah. So you have two minutes, everyone, to submit your portfolio for our review. Does that mean I have two minutes to finish this? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, kind yeah. of. <laughs> no, but yeah. We'll go back to it, but you should... We're wrapping up slowly. Yeah, but I mean... I. Today, <laughs> come on, mask, stop it. The bubbles make a big difference. Yeah, and this is just the beginning. Um, after we review the portfolios, I'm gonna show the PSD for the um, storm piece, so okay. they see all the layers, because yeah. you cannot do it quick. You have to, to spend time on it. Maybe yeah. we'd also have a little bit of channel mixer adjusting. like a warmer tone. Mm. Oh, that looks cool. Give it a little bit of yellow. Everyone is liking the bubbles. Yeah, bubbles are fun. It came to life. It's the tiny details that bring the art to life. Well said, Ashi. Now I think this is a little bit too strong. a little bit like space straw. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is gonna be dots. Without gravity, it's just floating in space. Yeah. Nato says, that's cray. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so these are gonna be smaller and I'm gonna make them white. So we are seven. And then that's three. Ooh, they're shining. Yes. When you do the, the dots, if you add um, a glow and then you overlay it, it's also um, lighting some areas, you see? Yeah. So it gives it dimension inside. Wow. No, That's so cool. These are too many dots. Mm. 
So we, we hit the deadline for the portfolio reviews and we we're gonna we're gonna look at a couple of them. Okay. So let's take a little break and just hold on. We need to travel somewhere and we'll be back to review two lucky people's portfolios. everyone when we're back it took us a while to come back down to earth to yeah. review the portfolios mm -hmm. but I think we've settled I don't know how to do my hair in this helmet but I know just to these and <laughs> no one can see it. <laughs> okay so we've actually chosen two portfolios and I have them here the first one is Yanina Yay! yes Yanina has been here every day. I like that why. Yes, yes. I'm so happy that we get to review your portfolio. So um, this is uh, from Behance, mm -hmm. which is awesome. And the first thing I see is that why, which is really great. I love that you have a little logo for yourself. Mm -hmm. And Anna loves it as well. Yes. And we see um, Buenos Aires. We have an Instagram here, which is great. I describe myself as an artist, graphic designer, illustration and lettering design. I love what I do. That's awesome. So she has a way for you to contact, which is great. And then what do you feel when you see the projects as a collection here? Does that look pleasing to you when you look at it? I like that um, there's a lot of lettering and I see that she uses different styles, which I think it's always good um, when you work with lettering to be able to approach each project, you know, depending on the briefing and have a different result. Should we see some of them? I think so. Yes. Let's start with okay. the logo marks. So this is the logo collection. I like this one. This is DJ Jean, mm -hmm. it says. I like that since it's for a DJ, it has like rhythm and that N is like a beat. Bam. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. Really cool. And it's locked up. It's yeah. easy to use at different sizes. And the E's are lines. So you know when, when you have music, you have the those lines. Yeah. The green, red, yellow. I don't yeah. know what that's called. I, I don't need music. <laughs> I do lettering, but it reminds me of that. So it's a good connection there. Fab, first artist bank. Is this like a fictional thing or a real thing? It's pretty cool. Yeah, this one is interesting too. Um, it's a little bit hard sometimes when you combine typography with something lighter, mm -hmm. you know, because um, it I can't see you, so I'm gonna it take feels this. like illustration. Oh, if you take it off, I take it off. <laughs> okay. It feels like um, also now I can hear myself again. <laughs> When it's like illustration in the middle of the word sometimes makes the legibility harder. Yeah. But here, since it's just an A, it's, it's, it works. And I like that the crossbar of the A like points to the crossbar of the B. Mm. So I think there's like a nice compositional connection there. Yeah. Buenos Aires. Ah, Buenos Aires. Cool. This is nice. I like that you have a wide range of styles. This yeah. is important. Yeah, this is cool. Well, I made it too big. Ah, okay. Okay, so I'm really bad at browsing these. Okay, so we have a lot of them. Cherries yeah. and wine. That's cool because you've um, combined it. Combine two languages together. Mm -hmm. That's hard to harmonize two different styles, different scripts. Let's see. Jill and Perez. Mm -hmm. This is classic, it's beautiful. Yeah. Reliance game. game. So wow, you've really worked on 
different styles and mm -hmm. different business needs, which is really important if you're going to have a career in this type of thing. Let's open one of the sneaker ones mm -hmm. at the top. Nike React. Whoa. Oh, this is interesting too. That's really cool. I was hoping that that swatch was an S. Oh, <laughs> we're always sneaker. looking for letters. Yes. <laughs> well, maybe it can be, right? Yeah. I like that it has Nike, Nike React in the in the swatch with all those illustrations. Yeah. And this it has hand lettering on the on the logo, which is nice. I love that N. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. <laughs> That was really impactful. It was cool. Mm -hmm. Madonna Rebel Heart Tour. Wow, that's great. Yeah. Two of your designs were selected by Madonna to be displayed during the backdrop of one of the songs. Yeah, I'm not surprised. This is good. That's awesome. You see, I like how this lettering that it's, um, you know, tougher and like a little bit more rough. Mm -hmm. How much is this type of design, right? Because if you had something very elegant here, it wouldn't have yeah. this like Impact. raw feeling. So this is a good choice. Wow, there she is. Yeah. That must be so satisfying to see your work up there. Here's some more Rebel Madonna self-initiated projects. It's nice. Whoa. Mm. <laughs> Look at that animation. That's cool. Will you let yourself go wild? I like this, but the first W has a little extra stroke. Yeah. It might make it hard to read. So maybe I would get rid of that one. Yeah, working on lettering like this, at least in my experience, I always have to write it many, 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 many times mm -hmm. because um, although it looks very spontaneous, it's important to make sure that everything reads well. And as we said yesterday, sometimes letters, you just like do something to them and then they read like another letter. Yesterday we had a G that looked yeah. like a four. So it's important to keep um, everything legible. Whoa. That's really expressive. That's yes. cool. And here legibility comes in too. Whoa. You did a lot of this. Yes. Another Madonna thing. That's a cool poster. So what does it say here? Artwork inspired by Madonna's single, Living for Love. Personal project. It's great that you're doing these personal projects to get more experience and to build up your portfolio. That's what we recommend yeah. to most people that are sending stuff in. It's good practice also. This one, I really like the style of the lettering. Mm -hmm. I love that the V at the in the middle creates um, like a symmetry. I would tweak a little bit the love at the bottom because since there's a heart between the A, I, the O and the V, it reads like low V, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It separates the word and um, it's harder you to read. You could put that heart underneath or you don't need it. Or on the shield. Yeah, like right on the shield instead of just having the dagger, it could have a heart too. And this happens sometimes when I'm working, you are so focused on the shape of the letters that you forget that you're writing words. <laughs> yeah, sometimes that's easy to forget. Yeah. But generally that's awesome. So there's so much stuff here. I really like that you have different styles. Mm -hmm. um, We'll just look at a couple more things before we move on to the next one. Oh, that, that double down is interesting, uh, how oh, she used it. Oh, that's cool. The, oh. I just noticed. I read it really mm -hmm. easily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, the U and the first part of the W connect. That's yeah. nice. That's really well done. Mm -hmm. Work harder. Yes. Force. The most powerful force is human psyche, how we describe ourselves to ourselves. I would totally frame, have this in my house. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. Very motivational. And it looks like you use the typeface here and then you combine it with your lettering. Really cool. It really 
helps to draw your attention to that yourself. Yeah, right? it does. It was a good day. Ice Cube, artwork designed for Ice Cube 25th anniversary of his single contest. Wow. That's pretty, I don't know what to say. I like it's this like one. I think I would work catching. a little bit more on the it and the A of a good day. I really love the A in was, that shape. Mm -hmm. I mean, if it was alone, you couldn't almost like, couldn't it's not it. an A, but like, yeah. It's like the structure of an A, and I like when you can, you know, push that hard. Yeah. And you can still read it. Yeah, and you do a really good job of showcasing your work. Yeah. Because this looks so realistic, and you have it in different contexts. Yeah. Um, that's awesome. Okay, Anina, thank you so much for submitting. Yes. We're going to move on to the other one because we don't have a lot of time left. Uh, but just really awesome work. So D is the next D. one. Congratulations. You got your portfolio up here. So here we have D, who's in Toronto, Canada, freelance typography designer. And it looks like all your stuff is typography, which mm -hmm. is awesome. So here's some lettering. Hope. It looks like uh, maybe it was done using a drawing tool on the iPad or something. Mm -hmm. um, I think oh it God, has, keep zooming it has good rhythm and I see how you have like good like flow and good connections. Um, I would work a little bit in like making the X high of this mm -hmm. word consistent because the O and the P are there, but the E is a little bit short and the H is a little bit low, like the arc of the yeah. H. So if you just adjust these little details, my hand. it's gonna... That H, <laughs> I can't no. do it. No. That H should be at the height of the O and the P. Yes. So you need to get that up there. But, um, and, it's and think about the spacing. Like we said yesterday, mm -hmm. three letters at a time. H-O-P is the O in the middle, it's a little closer to the P. So move it a little closer to the H and keep adjusting until all the letters are spaced equally. Yeah, that's something that we all have to do. Yeah. When you work on something, then you have to spend time finessing and finessing. Yeah, definitely. Here's an ampersand. That's nice. cool. Ampersands are fun. Yeah, I really like this. Great job. And ampersands are a unifying force. Everyone loves them, even if yeah. they don't know about lettering or type. Yeah. They're like, I love that. Humanity is a microcosm of the universe. We are all in this together. You see, this together has better spacing and better, yeah. um, like the X high. Although this, like the T goes a little bit lower and the H also goes a little bit lower than the E, but this type of lettering brings that type of like little variation with it because yeah. it's handmade. But it looks consistent and it looks like well crafted. It looks great. It's yeah. rough, but it's very mm -hmm. well thought out. Yeah. And uh, you can have a bouncy baseline. That's fine. It's just keeping that X height um, well consistent. Sun blossoms. This is great too. Yeah. Um, one thing that I would like to see is it looks like these are you know, self-initiated projects that you've created. But just like we saw from Yanina's portfolio before, some context of where this could be used, mm -hmm. that would really bring it to life and make me as a client want to use it. If mm -hmm. I saw this as like a wrapper f or food packaging or something, I'd be yeah. like, oh, I have a company that would benefit from this, so I'm gonna contact you. And as a Behance project, I feel like people get more entertained when it's a longer project because they see all the applications. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, I like how, uh, D, D is his name, right? Yes. Um, you have a lot of like different hand letter, like free styles that mm -hmm. they really like. Yeah, a lot of styles. Yeah. D, yes, like mock-ups. That's what I was trying to say, I think. The best is yet to come. Yes. That's cool. Always. So this, if you mocked it up as like a print that's framed on someone's wall, that'd be really awesome. T, 
teal. Mm -hmm. So here, the bottom part is kind of distracting me. Yeah, it's a little bit too um, black. Yeah, it's a like, little, like here you have such a organic feel with your hand lettering that it kind of takes away from it when you use a typeface underneath in black. So maybe this could be a description of the artwork in your description um, field on Behance, but you don't need to put it in with the artwork. I think that it's also um, catching attention because everything is centered and that part of the text is aligned to the left. Mm -hmm. So then it's something that's different and, you know, it attacks our eyes. Yeah. Let's see, what else is drawing your eye? Slay Let's see. Yeah. You got this, girl. Yes. That's awesome. I like that one. Again, think about your spacing. Um, you've got a little problem area with the Y and the D colliding. Mm -hmm. So if you moved the bottom two words a little over or a little the other way, those could kind of work together. Or, I mean, if you want to have it centered, you can always go for it. Put this lay a little bit lower and have that Y mm -hmm. like go through the D and then, you know, yeah. it's either don't touch. They're either loving each other or they don't yeah. want to. It's not like in between. You can like touching a little bit. Um, <laughs> no. Like if we just did <laughs> no. this, it would just be awkward. <laughs> no touching a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cool. How oh, like inspired. Mm -hmm. I like that it has these like 3D, um, you know, like the glasses. Yeah. It's It has magenta and blue. So maybe if we put 3D glasses, this feels like it's in real life. Yeah. Dimensional. I would totally put this on my wall as a poster. Yeah. Here's an L. That's cool. It's like, uh, it looks friendly because it looks like it's it jumping. Know, raising its arm yeah. or something. So D, I love that everything is lettering and you have so many styles. You have already such a great base Yeah. to, you know, add mock-ups to all your stuff, explore like the, what we talked about spacing and legibility and keeping your X height really consistent. Mm -hmm. Do a lot of that practice and you're on on the way to becoming yeah. much more successful than you already are, which is already awesome. Yes. So thanks Dee and Yanina and thanks to everyone who submitted. We loved looking at your portfolios. And now we'll just do the last few minutes that we have. Oh. I know, it's I sad. Know. So if we go back to Anna's screen, yes, we're back to our plastic straw sun. Yes, that, since we added these little um, dots, it's more bubbly, but you see how it goes uh, from one material to the, to, to the other. What I'm gonna do, so let me save this and let me show you um, a PSD of a finished piece just because I want you to see how, when you work in one of these pieces, it requires, um, so, you know, I have all these layers and you can open these guys and their stuff inside. Just wow. to get to something like this, Yeah. you need to go, let me see. Can you zoom on this so it can take yes. up more of the screen? There we go. Okay. Whoa. There we go. Yes. Okay. So this, let me show you if I can find it. Tiffany is asking, does this look good when it gets printed? Have you um, ever done print of your work? Uh, this has not been printed, but it looks it looks good too. It looks yeah. transparent, yeah. So this one started like this. Oh. You see how it's like not as impressive as when you have all the adjustments. This is still really cool, warpy. Yeah, but it's um, it's too flat, right? Yeah. It looks like water from a pond and it's not super clean. <laughs> <laughs> so, the kind of pond that you don't want to fall yeah. into. So here, some adjustments, and then I want it to be, since I was lettering the word storm, I wanted it to be cold. Ah, so okay. that blue was a little bit too warm, and I added, you see how I, it goes like adding things, little details, little um, colors. Yeah. And then these are these guys. Just a little bit, then a little bit more dots. 
little by little. Not everything can be done with one adjustment. You have to build on it. Yeah, that's really cool to see all the components of this because Indeed. seeing the finished product, it's hard to know what goes into it. And this thing just moved because of it. Oh, no. No, that's fine. Um, question from Jan Eric. At what resolution do you export the Illustrator file for work in Photoshop? Um, so I always make sure that they are very large. So I would be working with 2,000 by 2,000 pixels at 300 dpi. Mm -hmm. You can always go <coughs> smaller. Since when you work on this, you bring um, a smart object, but in order to use the smudge tool, you have to rasterize it. I recommend that you work very large because, you know, if you're small, you'll have to start from the beginning and it's like very annoying when you have to do the things that you don't want to do twice. Yeah, mm -hmm. that makes sense. Yeah. Are you usually coloring with only one brush in Photoshop and just adjusting the color and size? I, so in Illustrator, we established um, a gradient for the, for the line. Mm -hmm. Let me see. And then what I do is in Photoshop, I just go, oh no, this is the other one. So we established this because I knew I wanted to start with this base. But then when you are in Photoshop, I just go with what feels right. Sometimes I add colors with different brushes. Sometimes I add just lights with the curves and the masks. So it's organic. It's not yeah. always one, one process. Yeah, that makes sense. So we're actually nearing the end. We have three minutes left. So sad. Yeah, at least I'm but happy that today we were able to finish this. I know, this looks so good. I'm thinking that, you know, we can do one extra thing. Oh, oh a bonus thing. What yeah, are we gonna well, do? Well, just um, add a layer that has a little bit of a lighter blue, but still dark in a circle. Uh, let's do a big. I know I have that brush. Okay. Three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is saying thank you so much. Nick says, I've been watching a lot of these amazing live streams, and this is one of the most inspiring and enlightening. Yay. Thanks for I'm sharing so your gifts. I'm so glad. I hope you guys use it. You see, if, you, oh, if we yeah. use um, a little bit of like a vignette, and then maybe we could have this have a drop shadow. But you see, once you have yeah. it, it's just like. You just keep playing with it. Give it love. Well, Give love to the letters. thank you so much to everybody. Yes. If you watched, if you chatted, if you submitted to one of the challenges or to your, your portfolio, thank you. It was so nice meeting you. Anna, what's your last words to the crowd? I had a great week. Like, thank you so much to everyone who's been in the chat. Um, you guys made me feel like so well, and it's like, no, so good. Yeah, <laughs> so good, so good. Um, yeah, I hope you like what we did. And if you guys want to do these things and um, tag me and show to me, I would be very, very happy to see it. Yeah. yeah, keep in touch. She's on Instagram and she'd yes. love to see your work. Yes. Thanks, everyone. Yes, See bye. you next time.
ますので。